Tygon here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going ahead and giving you guys a proper movement guide for Farley 84. And I know a lot of people don't think that this game has a lot of movement, but it does. You just gotta know how and when to use it. And with that said, we're gonna be hopping right into it. First off, we have the most basic movement trick or tip out there, and that's literally holstering your weapon. If you holster your weapon, you're gonna literally move faster. Very simple, but yeah, holster your weapon, it'll let you move faster, it'll let you reach further jumps, all that. It's gonna make your life a lot easier for movement, right? Now, next up, you have to learn how to air strafe. It's so crucial in this game. So if I put down a bounce pad, or if you see a Sunu's bounce pad, you can hop on it, and you can use your joystick to move in a particular direction. It essentially allows you to go ahead and air shape or move in a direction different than where you were initially heading you can move in the air and this works on both bounce pads and those little blue spots you'll see on the map now as you guys have probably already guessed using your joystick to go ahead and choose a direction is also going to allow you to change a direction so if i pull backwards i'm gonna boost backwards right so the very first movement you even have with your boost is literally to go ahead and just dash forward it allows you to get the unexpected jump on people you use this in any situation especially if you're on the ground go ahead use those dashes to pull up on people and catch them off guard. that's what you want to do with it next up you have the vertical you can go ahead and use the vertical to just go up and reload go up get out of your enemy's line of sight so many different things and just of course to go ahead and get to higher ground you want to use it to get higher ground because high ground always makes it easier to go ahead and win now another thing you can do with your vertical boost is you can go ahead and what i like to call ceiling surf very simple it doesn't look that crazy but it will definitely catch people off guard and you can even do it in the beginning of doorways i'll show you in a second like that so even though i was right here i came all the way in here from just doing one vertical boost even though it's vertical it still can go ahead and give you a horizontal movement and it's going to catch a lot of people off guard it's especially good when you do not keep in mind when you do not have your horizontal boost and you really need to do something you might need to go ahead and use your vertical boost for that now you also can use the sunil bounce pad to do ceiling surfing as well and it's even crazy with that said though if you go ahead and only tap your vertical boost you're only going to go up but if you go forward or backwards you will also take those attributes so if you boost vertically forward and backwards or whatever you're going to take those attributes if you go left and right all that stuff of course it's also a very useful technique to go ahead and boost backwards to go ahead and still be looking at your enemy but still get out of there even though you can go ahead and use your joystick to change the way you boost you can also use your view because whatever direction you're facing is where you're automatically going to boost so if i'm right here and i just quickly flick there i can go ahead and change my boost instantly without having to use my joystick but let's say you're pulling back right and then you need to go ahead and boost to the left real quick it's going to look something like this all so my joysticks are already occupied i'm pulling back i need to boost to the left real quick and just like that, I don't even have to change my joystick. I can just use my view to go ahead and mess with that. Now, one of the advanced techniques I like to do, I like to call the boost around. And essentially you go run, jump out of the window, boost, and then boost on top. And now if you were low ground, you're now high ground and you can become behind someone that's holding a stairwell. Now, you can also do it only using one boost depending on how the layout of the building is shaped. So you see that little window right there? If you were on a building, you can go ahead and actually boost into windows from the bottom just using one boost. So if you're able to get onto any ledge, check out for windows, you're able to boost and then climb in. You don't have to be able to reach it completely because this is another movement tip, which you can do in this game is you can grapple. See, so yeah, you're able to climb onto something. So if you get close enough, you're gonna get into the grapple animation. So with that said, just like you can boost into windows, you can be in a completely different building and you can boost into another window that's on another building just like that. Now, of course, it's gonna take some timing, but it's something that's gonna be able to throw your enemies off guard. Now, another way you can use the booster run is by going from window to window, and you don't necessarily need to only use your boost. You can use a jump pad for it. You can use so many different things, but it's a very good technique. You just have to do it based upon whatever building you're in. So it's gonna take a lot of creativity. But let's say I go through this doorway, boost up, I can go ahead and get into this window right here without my enemies expecting it. So if someone was holding me here, I literally just jumped out and then boosted to the opposite side. Now, unfortunately, they're not in the training room, but one thing you can definitely do with this game is if you see those little boost spots on the map, usually if you just walk over them, they're going to send you flying. But what you can actually do is when you're going ahead and playing, if you boost over, it's going to send you flying in a perfect direction and this is super good for escaping because no one can follow you after that because it's already been used once now you can also use your vertical boost to do this you just have to time it so what you need to do is push up forward with your joystick and then go ahead and hit the boost this will essentially allow you to go ahead and take one of these if your horizontal boosts are already wasted now last but not least we have what i like to call the battle movement so essentially if someone's pushing up on you what you can literally do is go ahead and go side to side and essentially crouch spam go ahead and get shots in now crouch spamming is actually a good tactic but it's better used in buildings the reason why i say it's better used in buildings is because even though jump spamming is harder and it makes it a little bit harder to hit your shots it is going to make you a way harder target to hit especially if you know how to use the aim assist right in this game crouch spamming is going to be very good because let's say you're in a building or whatever it will keep your camera relatively stable because in certain awkward locations you can't really jump spam like that and it's just very weird it's going to make it very hard for you to hit shots so at times it'll be way easier for you just to go ahead and crouch spam on people if that makes sense now the last advanced movement i have for you guys for the 
boost. I like to call the zigzag jumps. And essentially it looks like this. You jump up, you jump to the left and you zigzag to the right. So you essentially use two boosts and you use your joystick to control where they go. The vertical boost can be used in different directions. So essentially I just did two zigzag boosts going to make you very hard to hit and get you the jump on enemies. Now here are some rapid fire techniques that I have created so far. So this is what I like to call a wall boost. Not really a wall boost, but it's kind of hard for enemies to track. They're not going to expect it. Go run to a wall, jump, boost, and then turn your direction and boost this up. Another movement I have for you guys, one thing I learned is to go ahead and use something like a war spider to go ahead and incorporate into your movement. So if there's something high, you wanna to get to it. What you can do when you're pulling up on a squad is you can use this war spider, jump, exit it, and then go ahead and use your boost right after. It's something that's gonna definitely catch your enemies off guard. Now this next one makes it super hard for people to go ahead and hit you if you have to run upstairs. So this is what you wanna do. You literally just go to the edges of every stair like this. And it's gonna be a little bit easier because the stairs are not usually this wide, but if someone's holding stairs on you, they're pretty low, you know you can push up on them. You literally just go left and right like that, and it's very hard for them to go ahead and hit you. Now, my next technique is a boost-free technique. Essentially, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and jump left to right, move your joystick to the left, move your joystick to the right, and essentially doing this will allow you to be a very hard target to hit. So let's say someone's holding this cover and you absolutely have to push them. You just go left and right at the same time. It's going to be extremely hard for them to go ahead and keep up with you. Now, this right here is literally the very last step I have, and it's just a back boost upwards. This, it's not very crazy. It's more so to show you that these boosts can do a lot. You just got to be creative with it. But that's all for today's video. If you enjoy, subscribe and leave a like. Let's get into the gameplay. Reload commencing. I think you just, oh, that's the kid that um, came last game. There we go. Um, can you hear me? Oh, I'm freaking whiffing, bro. I forgot what. Um, there's a few things you have to do. Please wait. Uh, my freaking brain is farting on what I do whenever my sounds not happening. That is him. A new reaper has arrived. Bro, popped me with those freaking bombs. I'm. Gonna... Oh, hell. Oh, she's rezzing the uh, sphere guy. Okay, where's the other guy? This is far lady for. Where's the other one? Where's the last one? Been down on me. No. Oh, nah, he was ready to put some action. That's kind of funny. Some good aim. He's actually kind of hitting me. There's no point. Who's the kid I'm not, though? AK up his best gun? Uh, no. Jupiter's best gun. Precision even AI. 
I require time to oh, reload. Who's taking that fight right there? Is that Alert? I don't want to steal it and kill it. Seems like this dude's just. You gotta die, you gotta die, you gotta die. Even AI require time to reload. Who's f oh, it's a freaking third party, bro. Let's take care of this kid. Oh, what is this? What is this? What? Oh, he got away. I gotta kill you, though. You gotta team me. He's healing, too. You can probably play that out. He's healing. You should be able to just bum rush this way. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh! I thought I, oh, I thought I got the kill. I was tweaking. Alonzo, go on. I mean, I was getting his math. I think so far it's pretty tough. It was a flashing. Apex did have a bad ending, but it, it usually is. It'll be back soon. Uh, tips for 1v4s. <sighs> Aren't you glad you didn't Play angles. Uh, Valor, can you get the res? I don't think he's going to be able to get it. Oh. Jeez, that junk's hitting, bro. You shall be friend forever. Thanks. Hitting me, I find me. There's a car. There it is. Four seconds, yeah, I should be able to make it. Come on, come on. Come in. Supply ship in route. Yo, Valerie, switch seats, switch seats. I don't want, this is my last work on which we close to. I don't think we'll be able to make this type of line. Rescue commencing. Start delivering air drops. Yeah, you might die. I have my gratitude. Go, 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 go. Yeah. It's a GG's. It's a GG's. <laughs> oh no. Freaking died to storm. Bro. Negative feelings from defeat. That joke sucks, man.